Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, I want to share with you a bunch of things. So first of all, we are going to try to do a plan with me in my Hobonichi Cousin, which I'm just getting um, started using it and just getting used to it. So this might be a little bit of a disaster, but I'm just putting that disclaimer out there first. The other thing I wanted to do is kind of go over one of the new kits that are coming out. Um, so this month, my new releases are a little bit late because I was sick at the beginning of the month. And so I didn't not, I literally got nothing done. If you watch the last plan with me, you know why. Um, so, but I did want to go over the new format kind of style that we're doing um, because of the TPC Nation planner going away. And I know Destiny is going to be coming out with another one, but uh, let me just go through this and I'll show you everything. So this is the new true crime bundle. So if you're part of my Facebook group, you already know about the journaling bundle that was uh, the same exact theme. And I thought that I know not everybody journals and I know everybody loves this artwork. So I decided to bring it out in a full kit. So if you are want to use this planner style rather than journal style, you totally have this option to do it. So this is the fold kit. So this is your page one with all of your full boxes and then this has a nice big double box. Nothing has changed here. Your page two, nothing has changed here. It's still exactly the same. Most of the kit is exactly the same. The, the changes are going to come in the back. So page three, nothing has changed. Um, page four, still the same. I know some people are very obsessive about the way that my kit is, is laid out. They like it the way it is. Mostly my PR girls. <laughs> they tell me all the time, don't change that. But I had to make some changes. So here's this page, which is the same, where you get all of your, your deco and then your smaller labels and your smaller um, pattern boxes. This is one of the ones that changed. So this used to be just solid color boxes. And I wanted to make sure that you had what you needed as far as like check boxes, because that was in the add-on page. And I didn't think that was fair for it to be an add-on because it's something that should be standard in every planner kit is to have check boxes. So you've got your big pattern boxes. You've got your check boxes. Now this is all part of the regular eight page kit. This page is did not change at all, and this page did not change at all. So you still have plenty of solid color boxes to use. When I took those other ones away, I just added in something that I felt the kit was missing. And then these are your dividers. This is what changed. Instead of those add-on kit, those add-on pages that I had before, now you have the option to add on B6, a B6 part to the kit. So it's a two-page. It'll be listed as a two page, it's $8. If you want to add on the B6 option, this also works in the TPC planner for these boxes right here. So this size will fit your sidebar. They are squared off and they are artwork instead of like an open place for you to put scripts and stuff. But if you're looking to still have something to fit in your TPC planner to get you through the rest of the year, these work. And then of course, I still have older kits that have that as an add-on. So you can always go back and look for that as an add-on um, in one of the older kits and just add it if it's something that you want specifically like that. So this is the two-page kit. So you have your eight boxes and then you have your washi, which is B6 sized washi, your date covers. And I put some check boxes in here. And then, like I said, there's some other little boxes in here. So this is just a little two page mini kit. So that is now the add on. There's no more having to add on check boxes. There's no more extra. If I do do extra boxes, like if I do extra skin tones or whatever, I will add those in as they get done as like extra add ons. But this kit obviously didn't need that. So, but that's your eight page kit. There's that. Now we'll get into the Hobonichi Cousin kit. I did make, uh, sorry, I'm still a little bit sick, guys. I apologize. I'm like, everything I eat just doesn't settle right, and then my stomach gets angry. Anyway, so the Hobonichi Cousin has three different versions for the three different sections that are in Hobonichi Cousin. I only made two for the True Crime Kit because I didn't feel like a monthly was necessary um, for this kit, but I will show you the monthly layout of one that I finished earlier when I was testing out my, my kits. So... These are all two page kits. So eight bucks, super easy, great way for you to use in your, in your Hobonichi. So this one is the two page weekly kit and it'll say right at the top Hobonichi Cousin Weekly. This is the true crime kit and we're gonna use this so you'll see how it lays down. So there's that. And then this one is the daily kit. So this also has daily pages. So if you want to use some, you want to use some of this artwork in the daily pages, these fit over that BLC in that big section. And you can use it for two days. You can spread it out. This, um, we also have in the shop, the bundle, but there's also extra washi that is, um, listed with this. So if you want the washi, you can pick up the washi with it as well that matches this kit and then you you're good to go like you can you can stretch this out really far with the the washi rolls so and if you haven't seen them i don't know if i have it right here 
like if this is your first time um, seeing this at all, here, these are the washi. So this one has a silver, hopefully it'll, let me see. Let me get a paper to put them on so you can see it. Cause it'll, it won't focus if I'm holding it in my hands. It's still, the camera's still looking at what's underneath. So I'll put them down for you so you can see what you can pick up along with this kit there. So it's got the silver foil. Oh, come on, you could do it. Here, let's do this. So silver foil on the top one and the bottom one is not foiled, but it has the artwork from the kit. So there's that. And then let me refocus you back down. All right. So that's those. And, then, and those are also listed with these, with these, um, by the time you see this, all of this stuff will be listed. So we have the daily page. Now let's go into the Hobo Cousin. So I put clips so that I could, the only thing I don't like about this, <laughs> I don't like about it, but I know it's super popular and everybody loves it. So I decided to try it out is I don't like how everything is sectioned so far away. So I put clips in it so that I could find my sections. So this is March and this is how the monthly looks laid out. So you get boxes in your monthly, you've got, um, this is already up on the website. If you haven't already seen it, it's already there. So you can go check it out on the website, but, um, you've got all of the things sidebar, these down at the bottom, these at the top, you've got all of this to make a really nice monthly kit. So there's the monthly, same thing. It's a two page kit, $8. Then this is how the weekly came out for using, um, this is in bloom. So this is the weekly. And then I got to flip way back here to get to the daily. So here's how a daily kit looks and see how these are nice and big so that you can put whatever you want in there for bigger date dots, or you can like put out, um, a lot of people have like March 2nd and then it'll say Thursday next to it. Because if you look at the actual thing, it says March 4, Saturday, and has the moon thing on it. So you can add more stuff in here if you wanted to. So that's the daily. So we are gonna plan actually in February. So I need to take this clip off, but I had to put all these clips on here so that I could find, I haven't planned in here. This was me playing around with other, other kits to try to figure out what fit where. Um, I don't want January, obviously, we want February. So let's do this week, right? Let's do this week, I think. No, I want this one, I wanna do this week. So I haven't really started filling this out yet. <laughs> right now it's been like just experimenting with sizes, making sure everything fit, making sure that um, I got everything in two pages that I that I thought were important. So hopefully this will work for you guys. But I'm going to start by putting down the date covers. And I'm probably just mostly going to talk about this. I don't really have a lot of updates to talk about other than um, sale week is coming up on the 17th. So if you, um, and the, those are, when I do the everybody sale, there's no code needed. It'll just be, um, I can tell you on the 17th, um, both shops, cocoandfluff.com and the Cocoa and Fluff Etsy shop will be 30% off. So you can pick these up for 30% off. So you can get these for, I mean, they're, if you have a Hobonichi cousin and you want to just try it out, I'd say during sale time is the best time. Because then if you hate it, you know, you don't like the format or it doesn't work for you, then, you know, you didn't spend a lot of money. At least that's the way I look at it. I do a lot of experimenting by buying kits, trying them out and seeing if I like the format. And sometimes I don't, not even a little bit. Okay. So those are the tops. And then you can put your dates in there. And then we have all of the artwork. We've got sidebar stuff, um, washi. I'm gonna put the washi down at the bottom because I, I just need washi. I always need washi at the bottom of my kits. So there's that one. And then I thought it would be kind of fun to just have um, kind of like a mix mash of things because you write in between a lot of this stuff. So I figured there was really no point in having like 150,000 boxes to do like a no white space. I thought it'd be fun to just be able to put your kits, you know, put down your artwork and then have space to write underneath and, you know, not have like a ton of boxes. So what, I, how I thought this would work for me. So what, what's this week again? So we're, oh, I love this. 
<laughs> there are some things about the Hobonichi Cousin that I absolutely love that I wish were in other planners that I use, but circling the week that we're in is fantastic. So for this week, I actually work on four of the days. So I have plenty of work labels down here. And then I have plenty of other labels to go on top of your checkboxes. And that's pretty much like a lot of this kit is checkboxes. So I'm going to put down some of the things like this that I want. So my weekly spending tracker is in the sidebar. Um, and then you have one, two, three, four, four, five, six. Yeah, you have eight of these. So you can use one of them over here. I'm going to leave some space for... Because I have these guys right here. I've got a bill due and I've got these. So what I'm going to do is kind of make some space in between them. See, I'm still trying to figure this out myself. So there's the to-do. And then mm, this is the other thing that irritates me about... <laughs> is that uh, you guys know how I am about my stickers being straight and the hobo cousin is not super for, this paper is not super forgiving for like people like me who need to keep constantly repositioning stick it, stickers stick it, stickers because man it does not it does not work well at all so i'm going to put the movie tracker on sunday because that's when we watch Last of Us, and I want to put that there. And then, so my, of course, I didn't bring my date dots, so give me just one second. I'm going to need the date dots so that I can put down um, the dates on the top. And I know I have them here somewhere, I just have to figure out where I put them. Because I rearranged my stickers the other day like, like a goofball, and now I'm like totally discombobulated about where all my stuff is. And we need one that actually has, there, that one will work right there. Let's put that off to the side. So we are the sixth. And you can see that my, this, this date dot ones from my shop, the small date dots fit perfectly in here. And you can probably, you, maybe you can't hear him. Hopefully you can't hear him, but he just went out because he's being a butt, the dog, and now he wants back in, and I'm not going to go let him in. So he's scratching at the door right now. Pretty soon he'll start crying. Turn. These date dots fit so well on this. I love this. It was a happy coincidence that I didn't have to redesign date dots. It's nice when things will work in multiple planners because then you don't have to buy extras so there it is okay so this day is last of us day then we have uh, over here goes sit so there's eight of these because I wanted to make it so you had an extra one to put over here if you wanted to so you can decorate your sidebar There's that. I probably should have done some deco. If you have the other kits, you have deco. As a matter of fact, let me peek and see. Because I should have some deco left over. I do, but they're kind of big. They might be a little bit too big for this, but this came in the journaling bundle. If you have the journaling bundle and you mix and match all of the true crimes, you are set. You are set for a long time. So we want bill due here, because we have a bill due on the 8th, and then we can put a tracker. We'll put the tracker up here, and then we're going to put another heart in between so that we have places to write the things that we want to write. Um, there. I think that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love that. Okay. Oh, and look. <laughs> ah. Yep, there it is. Perfect sidebar. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so um, I'm going to do probably... Oh, see, there isn't a lot to work with, thankfully. You don't have a lot of choices, so <laughs> you don't have to stress out about it because there isn't a lot to work with. Lots and lots of space. If you need more, you can always get more than one kit. 
you know, so you'll have double. One, two, three, four. And then one, we have plenty of those. So I think what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna put down the artwork and I'm gonna do a straight across. And the nice thing about this is it's timed. So it says 13, so I'm gonna go straight across the 13 because you know me, I never, ever, ever time use timed anything. So actually, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do this. I don't want them right next to each other. I think it looks better if they're scattered around. So this one will go down here. And then we can move up here. Because I have a plan for this glitter. We're going to do that in a second. <laughs> Morbid Queen. That's totally crooked, but we're not going to stress out about it because we know we can't pick that size up. Big stickers for sure are going to take my entire page with it. And then we've got this one. Cute. Okay, then we want, I was thinking about using this glitter up here. Because we've got this empty space up here. So I thought I would go like right down the middle of the empty space. just to bring some of that color up at the top since the this is all black. And then the other thing that I, I know some people love Hobo Cousin because of the paper, but man, is it easy to wrinkle? Like if you pull your stickers too tight, your pages is like <laughs> like this. I think I pulled it too tight right there. Anyway, enough complaining about it because it actually is a really fun, really fun planner to play with. So I'm gonna put these guys down because because I just need them on every day. Since I don't use it timed like you're probably supposed to, it's just, I just kind of put them wherever I feel like putting them and use it like a vertical planner because I don't know how to use a Hobonichi Cousin properly because I just, this is my first time ever having one in my life. I did used to have um, one of the little Hobonichis and that didn't work for me very well at all because it was too small for me. There's that. And, oh, almost almost didn't put this one down. Put it at the top. So uh, this is my mother-in-law's birthday. And I'm just scattering boxes wherever I feel like putting them. So we're going to put one of these up here and then we'll put... Actually, we're gonna put it up there as well. I'll stick it right here in the middle with another header. So this good header for this one is to clean because Wednesday the 8th was the day before I went back to work and that is one of those days where I do a lot of cleaning, laundry, beds, all that stuff. Then we're into the work week. So we can put this here. And I can do important. So some of these, like I used to do here and I shouldn't have. So some of these aren't gonna have headers because it doesn't make sense to put like, to buy meals I can do for sure. I'll do, I'll do that one on Sunday because then I can do my... Um, we're only off on Monday and Tuesday after this particular Sunday. So this little three day section right here to figure out what to eat on um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we would go back to work. Um, that's perfect size for that. That just happy coincidence worked out. And then there's two more of these. So let's put one here and one on this one. Um, this one does have a to do, so we can do that one. This one has a to buy, which um, you could use that if you um, if you had like a list on here of stuff that you needed to buy. But I'm gonna put this here and this right under it. And these guys, because this day is shop supply ordering day, so I need to order paper and 
packaging. So I'm going to put that down. I have three things to buy that are unfortunately incredibly expensive. There. Okay, there's that. Um, appointment. I don't have any appointments, but there's an appointment one in there if you needed it. It's a little flag. Let's use the flag. I'm going to put it right here. And then we've got the rest of the boxes that I'm just going to scatter about. Because you always can find stuff to put in the boxes, but it just brings color to the whole thing. It just brings that. Puts it all together. Oh my gosh. Come on. Get up. You're not going to be able to handle that. That's way too crooked for me. There. That's better. I'm surprised that I'm able to get this up because the last kit that I tried to use in here, I ripped my paper so many times. I was just stressing myself out. Okay. One more. So hopefully you guys like this format and that it works for you. Um, it seems like it's going to work really well for me and I'm not a hobo... Uh, user normally, but I really like the way that this looks. I think it's, uh, let's go over here. I think it's fun. And there's a lot of opportunity to add more to it. So like if you have the washi, like I do, um, you can put the washi down. And like I said, if you have other kits, you can totally do that with other kits. I also need to put my work stickers on here. Um, I want this one. I don't think I like that there's three hearts here. Let's see if we can get them up without ruining the paper and move them around. I think I can handle one heart and then just put the list underneath it. I think that looks better, having them spread out. And then we've got our work stickers. So there's one. And uh, nope, I want it down here. Look at me, I'm even picky with like spacing. I'm, I'm so weird. I don't know how my husband puts up with me and my OCD-edness. Okay, and then this one's gonna go up here, probably right here. Okay, so only thing left here, oh, laundry, look at that. We're gonna end up doing laundry again on Sunday, so let's put it on Sunday. I come home from work, I throw a load of laundry in, I wake up, I throw it in the dryer, and then by the time, that's what's left. By the time I get up, throw it in the dryer, and then by the time I'm ready to go, it's ready to go. So now I have a few of these, and I'm just going to put them in a couple of spots where I think they'd be fun. Um, I know on work days, I don't have a lot to plan, because I'm at work, and not a lot is going on. You've probably heard me say that like a hundred times, so I won't bore you with it again, but it's true. There isn't a lot to do in my planner on actual work days. So I'm going to put a couple of these stickers in here just to make it look super cute. Because I think it'll be fun. And then that's it. And then we have plenty of space still to write. So that is how the weekly looks. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. See, it's so cute. Okay, so now let's move to the monthly and we wanna do the sixth and the seventh. So here is February 6th and 7th and here are the sheets. So the way that this is set up, I don't know. Don't take anything that I'm saying, but there's like little checkbox areas right here and then there's like numbers here. So I'm just treating it like a blank page and just kind of going from there. So Monday, I'm gonna put this here because I have my white jelly roll pen and I'm gonna put up in here with my white jelly roll pen, I'm gonna put the temperature and the date because I like tracking the temperature because I'm weird. I live up north and we have such weird wild swings in temperatures that um, it's kind of fun to track it and just see. If you, were put, if you were to put the weather up here on a graph, it would look like this and it's kind of crazy. So I wanna do that. And then you've got like all these like little extra areas where you can use like washi. So if you wanted to put washi at the bottom of the page, like I like leaving this because I think these little like 
um, quotes at the bottom and then having the calendar is fun. So I just basically been like what I did with the last one, which I thought worked out really well, is just using it, the box that where the squares are and leaving the bottom blank. But there's a spot right there where you, if you have the stickers, you put a sticker. So there's like a little space on the side. Some of them have a lot more space. Some of them have no space, but depending on what's on the bottom, you can really decorate it and it'd be cute. So there's that. And then I think I'll do the same thing on the other side for this one. And then there's a double box that you can use. So these would just, you could keep going if you wanted to just put like a couple things in here. Um, and then that way, you know, you could just keep going. I don't know where I want this. Where do I want this? I want it right here. Let's see if I can line it up without it being super crooked. Ooh, it kind of fits right there. Oh, double box fits right in that top corner right there. Nice. Very nice. Okay, then you've got check boxes that you can use. So you can put these on the sides. If you wanted to do like little areas for check boxes. And I think I'm going to do it opposite. So we'll do this one like this. And then I'm going to use some of these strips. And then hopefully I won't cut through the paper because this paper is so thin. And the only cutter I have is my horror one. <laughs> so <laughs> I actually have a true crime one from the bundle. If you think I could find it. I don't know what I did with it. It's somewhere in a giant mess on my desk right now. My desk is an absolute horror to look at. So I'm going to use this one from Avalon and Ninth. Cute. See, it looks so fun. Once you start putting stuff down on the page, it just starts to take on like a whole life of its own. So I think I'm going to put this up here, and then, I know I'm pulling in stuff that you guys don't have, but this is easy to pick up <laughs> if you really want them. Um, yeah, there. There's that. That's cute. And then there's these, like, labels where you can use for all kinds of different stuff. So if you have um, appointments or, like, shopping or whatever people use these for, I don't know. That's what I'm going to use them for, but I don't know what other people use them for. So I'm going to put a couple of them down here. See, I'm curling my paper because I make my stickers too tight. When I'm trying to keep them straight, it like pulls my paper together and looks silly. So, and then I'm going to put some up here. Let's go, let, like, let's try it not having the same color on top of each other. Let's go with this one. And this one. Ah, I'm pulling the paper way too tight because it looks like it's crooked. It is. Ah. I've had somewhat success pulling these up so far, so hopefully. And one more at the top. No idea what I'm going to put on these. I have no idea. Hopefully you guys like them and you can figure them out and, and know what you want to do with them. I'm kind of a disaster. So there's stuff like this, which I thought this would be super fun to use. So I think right here I'm going to do this. So I can do a menu right here. Um, there's also like errands. If you need to run errands, you can put down and make your list of what errands you need to run, or this could be your errands that you're running. Uh, I probably should flip these, huh? A cleaning schedule. Let's do a cleaning schedule. I also have these guys to put down as well. So I'm going to put, ooh, let's put this one over here. And then we've got this one, which we can put, hmm, let's put it here. I love that little frame around it. I think it looks super cute. And then we have this one here, 
So if you wanted to spread this out, you probably could get away with spreading it out pretty easily because you still have extra stuff. But I'm trying to use it all on one page because I don't really need to spread it out. Um, I like having just two pages that match and then being able to change up each day, like each double page would be something different rather than, look at how crinkled up I did that paper. It's like wrinkled on the other side. Um, I just like the way it looks. So I'm not the, I'm not the person to, to spread these out for an entire week. It won't happen. So that one's done other than the date covers, which those are just plain black. So I can use them pretty much anywhere I want. And then the family one. I can put E right here. Because actually, like these I'm just putting down. But if I wanted to, these would actually be really cute on the weekly. Like you can, if you have both, daily and weekly, you can mis mitch match what you need um, to whichever section that you want them in. Because they would, they totally go either way. Oh, and then there's a top three. I forgot I made top three. So let's do top three right here. And then you still have like these that you could use, but I'm not going to use them. I'm going to leave this and I'm going to go back to this because I have it and I want to decorate the rest. So let's do this. And then I want this boot. I love this boot. So now that I'm doing this, by the time you see this, I will have this deco sheet up as an add-on um, because I think this deco sheet just really, really brings this whole thing together. And I think it looks so cute that I want to make sure that you have that. So washi is up as an add-on. Deco sheet will be up as an add-on. You have the option for this one. I didn't do a monthly, but this one has the weekly and the daily. And then you also have the full bundle. So that is everything that I have for you. Um, I didn't use the washi, although I could have. I can see a bunch of places in here where I might add it later. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Um, but hopefully this gives you an idea of how my Hobonichi Cousin kits, the idea that I came up with on how to use them, and hopefully these ones... Um, Maybe some of you might like them as well. And this is what I absolutely hate about this is not being able to <laughs> flip. Like it's not right there. Okay, so that's how the weekly looks. And that's how the monthly, I mean the daily looks. And then I can go back to the monthly. That's how the monthly looks. But this is the in bloom sheet. So that's um, that's it. That's everything that I have for you. I hope you guys like this. I know I babbled a lot about Hobonichi, um, but I really don't have any other information to give you right now because on the last plan with me, I told you all the new updates. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next one. Bye.